All right. I would help the powder rope six flags. We could write an equation for this and we could make a table, then we could graph it if we wanted to. Um, let's start with the table. I'm gonna put rides will be X, cost will be Y. All right, now they don't put any numbers in the table, so what numbers should I use? Yeah, is it possible for Mr. Murphy to ride negative two rides? No. Okay, no. so do we need to include negative numbers on this no. problem? Okay, when you get to word problems, sometimes the negatives don't make any sense. It's impossible to ride negative two rides. Are you with me? So what number should I start at with this one? Zero. Zero. It is possible to ride no rides. Are you with me? If you're a scaredy cat and you don't like the roller coasters, you're probably just going to go to Six Flags and buy sodas and cotton candy and yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so if I wrote zero rides, what would my cost be? I still got to get in, don't I? $10. That's it. All right, what if I rode one ride? That'd be 12 bucks. All right, what if I rode two rides? Three rides. Three rides. Two rides. Three rides. Okay. So there would be a good table for me going to six flags. We don't need to include the negatives. We're going to start this table at zero. Are you with Good. And then we could graph it if we needed to graph. Questions? Can anybody help me write the equation? Ten x. So it's ten dollars for each ride. No, why equals 2x plus 10? It's got to be 2 times x. Rides is x. Do you agree? Yeah. So we're going to do $2 times x plus the 10 bucks to get in. Any questions on that? 10x would be way too much. That would be $10 to ride. I'm paying $10 to ride the roller coasters. It's too much. <laughs> Some of you might. All right, I think we're good. Oh, no, 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 one last thing. Let's go ahead and graph this. Let me sketch it real quick. <clears throat> now, by the way, do I need the negative numbers in my graph? No. So I'm just gonna do the positives. These will be rides. And this will be money. And I'm going to make it go up by, uh, let's do uh, two tables, yeah, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. All right, so doesn't it start at the origin? <coughs> yes. No. Oh, it started at 10. Do so y'all agree it starts at zero dollar, or zero rides, $10? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet. One ride, how much? 12 bucks. Two rides, three rides. Okay, we could keep this table going. Here's my question. Do I need to connect the dots and make the line go through here? Now, I'll tell you what that means. If I connect the dots, that means I can ride any number of rides between two and three rides. Is it possible? for me to go to Six Flags and ride 2.77 rides. Yeah. Y'all agree it's only gonna be a whole number? Yeah. yeah. So we are not gonna connect the graph here because I cannot ride between two and three rides. I can't ride between one and two rides. It's only gonna be one ride that much, two rides that much, three rides that much. When you connect the dots, you are telling me I can ride rides for every decimal between these two numbers. Are you with me? And that is not possible to ride 3.11111111111111111111111 rides. Are you with me? Yes. Then I need to keep going. Okay. Questions on that? All right. Now we're ready for the home. 